Of Kith and Kin is about a married couple called Daniel and Oliver who are about to have their first baby with their best friend Priya acting as surrogate. It's about uh, being a parent, wanting to be a parent, um, who has the right to be a parent. When I first picked up this play, I loved it. It's, it's shocking, it's a page turner. It's a play that starts with three characters playing a game of pin the sperm on the egg. What's not to love? I think it's a play that captures a really specific moment in the evolution of gay rights. I look at some kind of gay men, kind of my age and upwards, and, and we were raised in the, the shadow of shame. We grew up with Section 28, we had to fight for civil partnerships, and we had to fight for gay marriage. I'm also interested in a younger gay generation who have not had that experience, and what happens when uh, a couple with a, within that age gap get together, someone who uh, feels very privileged and entitled to their rights and someone else who grew up uh, going to bars with blacked out windows. It's a brilliant cast who've jumped straight into the world that Chris has created. I think one of the brilliant things about Chris's writing is that he writes characters you want to spend time with. When those characters are having fun together, you want to be a part of that. And when they're at odds, it, it's really challenging as an audience because you don't know who to side with. Describe Kith and Kin in three words. Uh, it's awkward or honest, but that's the same. Funny, moving and honest. <laughs> Rob Hasty will be so much better at this <laughs> than me. Um. <laughs> Start again. It is funny, thought-provoking, moving, heartbreaking, and a little bit uncomfortable. 